Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do GSA number 82 by Paul Evitz, George Paris, and Bob Wycheck by DC Comics. This is a, uh, let's say, a prequel from what's to come in these issues. And as you might see, and if you are a big favorite of the GSA and their enemies, uh, our main bad guy is the Gentleman Ghost on this and this fiery demon horse here. Now, it's been a while that I've seen Gentleman Ghost as the big baddie here. Uh, maybe ever. Um, so, yeah, I'm very surprised that uh, that he is turning up. And I like that a lot. And of, uh, it's also been drawn by probably my most favorite artist of all time, George Paris. Uh, his art is phenomenal and extremely detailed. Um... Yeah, his Titans run is, is with Mark Wolfman is, you know, probably the best out there ever, in my opinion, of course. So uh, we see Ma Hunkel and um, yeah, this is, is this post-crisis? Well, not entirely sure. Anyway, anyway, this is also a comic from 2006 when comics were actually still good until 10 years later when everything went down the drain, in my opinion, again. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's start the story. So we have Power Girl here. Now look at this, it looks great. So she's coming back into, uh, I believe, in uh, this, this GSA headquarters, but not entirely sure. And, um, and Mahanka says, hey, you need to go inside. And she makes also a little bit quippy joke that, yeah, maybe you are invulnerable, but you are not, you know, uh, you can still get sick. So uh, take a shower, <laughs> and you see here's this small, tiny bit of humor that I like. Cool Batman poster or that, whatever that is on the background. And uh, she said, hey, I wanted to show you something. It's important for the museum. And uh, it's, it's uh, some kind of a diary, I guess, or a um, notepad from none other than Lois Lane. Now, before I forget, um, I'm not sure if this particular universe is Earth 2 or Earth 1 um, because we see a flashback uh, later um, because she's here in the, I don't know, um, a hall of artifacts, a, a library of, of, you know, things. I forgot, a trophy room. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. And my uncle, you know, figures out that, uh, well, Power Girl couldn't read it because he says, well, it's some kind of a code. And then she figured it out. It's um, written in shorthand. I'm not sure what shorthand is. I need to look that up a little bit later. So she's going to read what's on, on, the, on the notepad. And then we go back to the past. And this is Earth 2. Uh, why? Well, because of the haircut. Uh, Lois is old here. Um, I believe this is somewhere in the 40s or 50s. Superman is all here. You can see it on this, on this logo. His logo is slightly different. Um, and she is, you know, writing stuff down because she is dying, basically. And um, so we come from old Superman to a, a slightly younger Superman. And he's meeting up with, uh, with Batman in the um, 1951. And it seems that the GSA has disbanded because I believe the, the Congress or the government wants to pressure them to reveal their identities. And they say, nah, we, we got to quit. So, but their secrets are still out there in the GSA headquarters. Uh, so Superman and, and Batman, classic Batman is going to, you know, investigate if everything is still all right. And Superman uses his, his well, X-ray vision and he saw that, you know, Somebody plundered uh, the, the vaults or something or files. So they're looking really into it. And my uncle is a little bit sad about, you know, reading stuff from Lois because she's, well, I don't know, Lois Lane. She has a, uh, you know, Lois Lane was a very likable character in, on Earth too. Everybody loved her. And then we are um, going to some kind of a university, I guess. And there is, um, somebody's uh, breaking in. And as, as you can see, that's none other than the gentleman ghost. And I believe this guy is or dead or unconscious. So the other cop says, hey, you stop with a, with a shaking hand and voice. And uh, what I like about the gentleman ghost, he all also talks like a gentleman. And he also, I believe he has a sudden accent. 
because he says, ye deserve a trashing. <laughs> and, um, you know, on his clothes, as I was saying, Craddock, Jim Craddock, but ye, Sarah, may remember me as the gentleman ghost, if you ever awake at all. <laughs> I like it. I like they, uh, you know, play around with this character like he is, you know, from a different time period or something. Uh, I like that a lot. And so it seems there's some kind of a diamond here that's been refined. So he uh, wants to take the jewels, but then um, none other than Superman is, you know, crashing and he does this classic Superman pose. I love it. I just really do. And uh, Gentleman Ghost says, Good day, Superman. You're the ghost, Hawkman's enemy. Tis the gentleman ghost to you, sir. And your enemy I'll gladly be. And uh, so he's firing. I don't know. I really don't know what the power set is of the gentleman ghost. I believe he can be invisible and untangible, I believe. And But he also has some tricks up his sleeve. Not sure if that's a power set or maybe a mechanical thing. And uh, so Superman wants to try to get him, but he's teleporting, I guess. And then... He's doing some damage, and then we see this structure, whatever it is. Um, well, part of the wall, you know. Superman saved these police officers, and he's teleporting away. And then um, he says, gone again. And then he's, he'll go for the gems. Too late again. With thanks for you, hospitality, your servant, the gentleman ghost, he wrote on this board. Also love this effect, this zoom. So, yeah, Superman is, is uh, I mean, Gentleman Ghost is pretty fast also. Um, I also see some small differences in uh, Superman's costume, except for the S. First of all, his cape is way shorter, and he has some, you know, like a, uh, you know, it's not really cuffs, but feels like a sweater, something. Small details, it's, it's you know, different from our universe. Uh, the, the real universe. So, okay, then we have Clark Kent here in Lowe's Lane in the younger years. You're doing some investigation for, uh, you know, for the papers. And um, Lois is, is a little bit suspicious because she thinks these, these people are hiding something. And then in Wayne Manor, the gentleman ghost is here and he wants to take a copy of... Um, let me look. Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. And then Batman comes in and says, hey, you're not going to do that. Yeah, you're not going to disappear with the precious Shakespeare volume. Ah, oh, it is the Batman accusing me of disappearing, he says. And he does, I don't know, some kind of a magic trick. And then appears, um, <laughs> I don't know, some kind of a, a gun from, I don't know, from the pirate time, from the 1800s, 1700s maybe, or even first. And he says, but what can disappear can also appear. And I also love this effect, like there are some kind of a... Um, bombs or bolts or uh, it's just look it looks great and um so batman says you're getting gunpowder on the book ghost and you're thinking to stop me with that little old bit of metal and wire one modern one more modern touch so he just zaps him because of the uh, electric current and uh yeah gentleman ghost is surprised by that and uh, so he does, I don't know, Houdini, and there's a mist coming out of his head, and then he is gone. Just like Batman says here. <laughs> okay, he's, uh, he's, he's taking the GSA by the nose. Um, I, I like this. It's, it's serious, but also a little bit lighthearted. Um, so here we see Clark Kent in the plane, he hears something, and he says, oh, what's that? And Lois says, hey, chill, chill, it's somewhere else, and... And he makes a joke like, oh, oh, good. You know how nervous I get flying. Yeah, that's a little bit silly, but, you know, it's... Uh, and then Gentleman Ghost comes with this, on this horse here while these goons are breaking in. Looks really good, man. Just... Uh, so it seems that the ghost is uh, in cahoots uh, with these uh, criminals. And so he said, uh, basically, he just led them to this, well, chest with artifacts, and then this is happening. And he noticed, tis odd, no one in sight, and yet they fall. Well, I thought to myself, hey, it's the Flash, right? Uh, yeah, could be, but we see uh, Wonder Woman. Well, the ghost wants to try to disappear. And, um, and I believe this is not, you know, Diana, Prince, uh, but I believe Hi 
Polita, I believe, the one the one's mother. I if I'm correct, I could be wrong, but I remember that she was a part of the GSA way back in the past. And I believe on, on Earth 2 as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's doing the, the finger magic again. He's disappeared. But what I noticed that every time he teleports, he the, the his teleportation looks a little bit different. So we have some purple cloud here. I'm not sure if it's relevant, but I'm just pointing it out and um, going back. So we have, I don't know, probably not green, but he's just you know, teleporting away. Um... And he's, well, he's, okay, 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 I'm, I'm, so, okay, so he does some kind of a purple ghostly thing here. Okay, um, meanwhile, uh, Jay Garrick is indeed here, and he's stopping the goons, and he and Diana is just uh, talking to each other, and uh, she says, we also promised Carter Hall to watch over his relic collection. So, yeah, it seems that the ghost wants to have certain relics, treasures for whatever reason maybe just i don't know for money or for personal gain uh money is personal gain by the way but you know maybe from something from his collection superman comes in uh, i never liked the short uh, cape but hey it doesn't matter she says um uh, so he talks about the Batman and he just did some investigation and that the files be now be recovered. He also says that no one will ever crack those files again, Jay. But is he truly a ghost Superman or could he, that he could escape the lasso? I don't know. And we may never know. No, because, well, ghost is a, how do you say, uh, an enigma. So, and then we go back to the den. This is also den, but way back. But this is Lois writing the adventures of Superman and Batman from the past. And, um, you know, he brings her some flowers from a mountaintop, which is really sweet. I can't get over it how, you know, how old Superman is. I, I never felt comfortable for an aging Superman. Uh, ah, just, yeah, it looks a little bit weird. But that's how it is in RF2. Things are different there. It's more like, you know, being in the past, uh, I guess. And, um, yeah, so she's finished with her adventure telling on her notepad or whatever. And then, yeah, that's that's it. What And my uncle is a little bit sad. And uh, she also says that she feels for uh, Lois. And she says, um, um, she says, um, she looked awful when I saw Ma, so weak. I don't understand what you were saying about all the worlds, Karen. Oh, how Lois got so old. But I'm losing track of things. Um, talking about other worlds, she's talking about the multiverse, I guess. Is it the multiverse or is it the uh, the other one? There's a, there's another. Well, maybe I can. Let me let me look real quick. Um, <laughs> multiverse. She said it, but where? Um, am I? Am I missing something? Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, multiverse, there are worlds beyond world. Okay, that's so how I was right. Anyway, and she says, uh, I remember Lois Lane so young, so pretty. She could be a movie star. Um, and then the light goes out. And the last thing we see that is my uncle is going back to, uh, you know, is talking to herself, putting out the lights. But Karen is already gone. And she's here crying because I'm not sure what's happening. But she says, why does it have to be me? How can I choose to have that world, that time come back so I can hug people I loved and watch other people die? I am not God. I can't. So maybe that's going to be revealed in the next issue. I like the fact that we see Karen in a, in a little bit in a different light. Um, Karen is mostly portrayed as a very hard-ass character. But, you know, I've seen her many times in her more vulnerable states, although her hard-ass character is more prevalent. And, uh, yeah, maybe some identity crisis. Well, that's, that's not, you know. Um, or this was the time that they, you know, let's, let's not go into there because I'm not speculating. Let's not go into there. So, next up, who's afraid of ghosts? Well, it's going to be in the next issue, guys, in this one. Uh, I'm going to review that. I'm going to review everything here, what I had. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Um, 
Yeah. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.